my lovely wishes. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches. I'm Holly. How is life? How are you? Is are we good? I did we, feel free to share. Extra hugs for everyone, just because. <laughs> it's a beautiful day here today. Uh, in Northern Illinois, it is just, um, it isn't super hot. It's lovely, the birds are singing. Uh, tomorrow it could be who knows what, but that's the, that's the fun of living where there's seasons. Um, so today we're gonna do a little um, product review. Um, I'm going to be doing a review of this quilt builder card deck. Um, I saw this originally on um, the fabric patch and I didn't get my act together fast enough and by the time I went back they were sold out. But um, I did go to Amazon and I got this one and there is a second deck also um same 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 basic thing uh just m more blocks i um i feel like because i'm a new ish new ish quilter uh that i'm not terribly familiar with the the more traditional blocks and that's what these are so uh i've i'm i'm gonna see how it goes and um if I can make it work, <laughs> I am gonna try to do um, one of these blocks a week and I will share um, my experience doing that. That tapping is super annoying. Um, so um, yeah, let's, uh, I did go ahead and make a block today. This is my, my block. Uh, I'll show you better um, on the other camera. And um, when I'm all done, we'll talk about what I thought and um, yeah, so see you in a, in a few. So I'm hoping this camera angle is good that you're close enough that you can actually see them. Um, this is the first one and set two is the second one. As far as I can tell, um, it, there are these are all completely new. So you and if you got both, you'd have like 80 blocks. Um, I think that perhaps set two is maybe a little bit more advanced than set one. Um, not, not crazily so, but some. So I'm going to set this one aside so we can just look at this one. <clears throat> Apologies for the throat clearing. I decided I'm going to move to Siberia where there are no uh, allergies. Just snow and cold. So, um, promo material. This explains to you how to use the block charts. So, um, this this is the block. There are all of these different blocks. So, um, when you turn them over, it tells you the name of the block. And then it kind of, it gives you the outline of what is happening. It also uh, labels the colors. And then down here, it explains to you how many of each color to cut. And then in this case, it needed to be cut into um, half square triangles. And then if you want a six inch block, this is the size eight inch block. This is the size that you cut those pieces. So, this morning I went ahead and did this one. This one is called Broken Dishes. And um, I, I picked some kind of dark colors, so I hope that you can see it. Okay. Um, it's, you know, this one was super easy. It was just have square triangles. The thing that this does not tell you, explain to you, is the construction. So you've got to be able to figure out that... Um, <coughs> excuse me, um, that, you know, you need to make, create these half square triangles and put them together. And, um, like a more complicated one, again, this case, it's all these little half square triangles and it does kind of show you how to, how to construct it, but it doesn't give you like, you know, do 
what I'm trying to say is I think you need to have some at least basic, maybe a little bit advanced basic knowledge of um, how to construct a block because it's not, it is not going to help you. Um, so it gives the gray scale. It also shows you in colors. And um, so then, you know, there's 40 different ones. They're all, um, the chart on the back says same deal, shows you what to do, kind of, sort of. And then in farther back, it's got some cards that are like informational. Like this one is um, planning fabric for a quilt, uh, yardage for rectangles. This one shows you how to corner alignment for piecing. So like if you're gonna put a, you know, these two shapes together, how you're gonna wanna make that happen. Um, this one is just your basic half square triangle. This is uh, cutting and binding, and this is yardage for quilt backing. Um, a lot of, and then these are just some random layouts that if you thought you, you know, these are su suggested layouts. Um, a cute thing that it makes a suggestion, and this one is that if you've got a guild or a group, um, it would be fun to hand out cards, just randomly hand out everybody a card, and then they'd go home and make their block and then bring the block back and then construct it into one big quilt, which would be tons of fun. But um, so anyway, yeah, and the, the purple one is exactly the same. Um, I didn't have any struggles putting this one together, but you know, it really couldn't have been much easier. So I think I'm going to try to do one every week, um, and show it to you. There will probably be weeks when it won't happen, but I, th I think I'm going to try and do that. So that is the quilt builder card deck and my first attempt at making a square. I have not squared it up yet um, from using this deck. Okay, so overall, I think these are pretty cool. Um, especially if you're um, one of those people who really likes to design their own quilts. And, um, you know, this gives you kind of all the tools that you need to design pretty much I don't know, it's hard for me to imagine that there are any more blocks in the world than in these two boxes, but I'm sure that, that there are. But um, it's a good it's a good tool. Um, like I said, if you don't know the basics, you're, I, I think you're gonna be pretty out of luck. But um, I enjoyed it. I, I hope that I shall continue to enjoy it. I'm going to make my blocks out of my stash of Marcia, Marcia Durst solids. Um, I have a bunch of them and I am just gonna choose colors that make me happy that day. So um, it'll just be a really, ra a really random um, if I decide to put them all together as a quilt, but um, I'm a pretty random person, so it kinda, kinda works out well. So um, yeah, those are, those are the Quilt Builder card decks. Um, Overall, I, I'd give them an 8 out of 10. I think that that's, um, it's, it's educational, it's uh, fun. <laughs> Sounds like it's a toy, but um, it is, it's a quilting toy. So that's all, that's it. That's it for today. Um, I, I'm planning for this to go live on Friday. So if, that, if it is indeed Friday, have a super great weekend. I hope that you're going to be doing something fun. It is my daughter's birthday on, well, it's actually tomorrow, but um, we're going to have a birthday party on Friday. So looking forward to that. And um, yeah, see out the end of summer. Yes. Sorry. Sorry to you summer people, but I'm, I'm over it. Be well, be safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.